Hey everyone, we're going to factor these two problems here, uh, 1 and 2. So for the first one, we're going to use our guidelines for factoring and first check for our um, greatest common factor. It looks like I can divide both of these by 4x squared. So instead of losing your divisor, you just pull it out. That's what it means by factor out the 4x squared. And then when you divide this, uh, the 4's cancel, x to the 6th divided by x squared is x to the 4th, minus, you uh, factor that out, and you're going to get uh, just 1. Now that we have that, um, we notice that this is the uh, difference of 2 squares, because I can take the square root of x to the 4th, which equals x squared. So I'm going to use this formula and factor this out further. So we have 4x squared and I'm going to let my a equal x squared. The square root of 1 is just 1. So I'm going to use this formula here and write this as x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. But wait, we can also do it again because I can take the square root of x squared and that just equals x. So we have a equals x and b equals 1 again. So basically we have 4x squared and you do the same thing. So it'll be x minus 1 times x plus 1 and then we have x squared plus 1. So that means we have factored this completely and we are done. Alright, now the second one we're going to do the same thing. What can we divide each of these uh, pieces by? So it looks like they all have a k in them. And uh, you do your smallest k, your smallest power, and factor out a k. So you factor out a k means you're dividing. You're going to get x squared minus 2kr minus um, 3r squared. All right. So, that's going to be one of these um, uh, general trinomials. So, what we're going to do is notice that uh, the first is going to be k times k. And now we have a 3. Um, a 3 is just going to be uh, 3 and 1. So, the factors of 3 are just 3 and 1. So, it has to be 3 and 1. And uh, we also have an R, so let's go ahead and put the 3R three, uh, three and R. Or you could switch it. Now we've got to determine, since this is negative, which is positive and which is negative. Since I know this is your outer and we have a negative here, I want to make the bigger number. So this is like 1R. I want to make it negative and this positive. Now let's check and see if it works. So we have the outer, uh, well, let's, we know the first is k squared, and then the outer is negative 3r, and uh, the, the middle is going to be, um, the outer is going to be 3kr, sorry, and the inner is going to be plus rk, and the last is going to be minus 3r squared. So we got our first and our last, and this is uh, negative 2kr. So what we did is we did it correctly, and that would be your final answer. So you always can, uh, usually when you get better at factoring, you can kind of mentally see it, but um, just keep practicing. If you're not sure, just foil it back or uh, use the distributive property back. And don't forget, you got to keep carrying that first K that we pulled out down. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.